ladies and gentlemen, your host for Drinks With Do It, Simon Anderson. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah, hey, welcome to Do It. I'm Simon. You might be wondering why I'm all bundled up. Well, here in the Midwest, it's freezing. I mean, it's like really cold. So cold that they're closing everything. Anders and I are teachers, and uh, we relished the opportunity to uh, stay home for a day. In fact, many years ago, uh, we used to hang out on these days, get together, and um, uh, tie a couple down and really just enjoy the day. And uh, today, what you're going to be watching me make is a drink that we devised a long time ago. And you might be thinking, uh, is this not a channel about making stuff? Like actually making stuff stuff, not a cooking channel. One of our first videos ever happened to be recorded right here before I had much in my garage. And uh, it had to do with cleaning the lines of your kegerator. It happened to be one of our most popular videos. So I thought it would be a fun little break from our usual content. Uh, yeah, both of us work in unheated, very poorly insulated garages, and it's not too great out there right now. So, we're gonna make a drink in preparation for tomorrow's snow day. It involves cold brew coffee and uh, a couple extra little additives, which you'll find out about in the morning. First, I'm gonna start by making my cold brew. You wanna use whole bean, something really dark and bold to really capture that flavor. And if you've never made cold brew coffee before, you want it to steep uh, overnight. I mean, I'm talking like at minimum 12 hours, maybe even more. So, throw it in my grinder here. Pop the top on. You want a medium to more coarse grind. You don't want to go too fine if you don't have a cheesecloth. I don't have a cheesecloth in the uh, spirit of the maker community and using the tools that you have available. I don't have one of those, so we just pour the grind right into the French press and go for it. So here we go. And that's probably going to do it right there. Wait. Okay. to fill it up to the top, near the top, and make sure every last bit of it is fully soaked. <laughs> I'm gonna cover this, put it in the fridge, and sometime mid-morning, we're gonna take it out, finish that off, finish the drink. You'll also need maybe some simple syrup. I make that myself too. Stove top. One cup of water. Heat that on the stove. When it's near a boil, add one full cup of sugar. Keep it just below a boil, just hot enough to uh, stir it up, fully dilute all the sugar. Let it cool and you're good to go. So I'm gonna handle that, hit the hay, and then we'll catch up right here. Great, well that was easy. The hard part's done. Cold brew is brewed. Like I said before, I don't have a cheesecloth, so all our grinds are just kind of mixed in with the water. You wanna do this part slowly, like painstakingly slow. We're gonna make you watch the whole thing because if we had any sponsors or Patreon supporters, this would be where we, you know, I'd like list them right now. Thanks for your patronage. Thanks for the sponsorship. Cold brews ready to go. We got my glasses with some ice here and let's get a pour going. Everyone's had cold brew coffee before. So what makes a snow day? 
A long time ago, some friends turned me on to these spiked coffee drinks with espresso flavored vodka. I didn't even know this was a thing. They called this drink Black Magic. I don't know any actual titles here. Maybe there's plenty, plenty of people out there doing this drink the exact same way, but what makes it a snow day? Well, first of all, you enjoy it on a school cancellation day. It's called a snow day. But you need something to turn it white, you know? There's black Russians and there's white Russians. You add some cream. What makes ours true snow days is that cream better be something special. So in our case, we have a little rum chata. Oh. You can probably use any kind of cream liqueur that you want here, but we've got our personal favorite. Just a little spike. Ooh. Ah. Watch the color change. And just because I have some in the house, Definitely not necessary, but you can jazz it up however you want. Two drinks, one of me. Man, if only I had a, a buddy to share this with. Inners! What's up, man? Happy snow day! Cheers.